Also new tonight, hospitalizations in the Valley from COVID-19 are on the rise. It's a concerning trend that's happening throughout the state. CBS 47's Jocelyn Moran joins us live at CRMC. So Jocelyn, how big of an increase is Fresno County seeing in its hospitalization rates? Well, just in the last week, about a 20% increase in COVID-19 hospitalizations. Now, the last time we experienced a surge, the peak was in July. Officials telling me that this time hospitalizations are increasing, but it doesn't seem to be as rapid as it was the last time. It gives us a, the time to uh, monitor it and put plans into place or initiate processes or initiate requests for resources. Fresno County officials are closely watching numbers as COVID hospitalizations begin to rise once again. According to state data, 123 positive COVID patients are in the county's hospitals, a 19.5% increase from a week ago. 33 COVID patients are in the ICU, a 21.2% increase from a week ago. These numbers don't include patients who are suspected of having COVID-19. At community medical centers hospitals, they have 83 COVID positive patients. That number includes resolved COVID patients still under their care. That's a 25.3% increase from a week ago. Uh, unfortunately, over the last month, really, we've seen a pretty steady increase, albeit it's not as quick as the one that happened in July, but it is uh, slowly but surely uh, jumping just like the state and national numbers are doing. Dr. Jeffrey Thomas, Chief Medical and Quality Officer for Community Regional Medical Center, saying there's a tremendous amount of fatigue among health care workers and telling residents to think carefully about those holiday plans. Having some serious thoughts about, you know, how you behave over the holidays. Um, those are always scary times for the hospital system and the community. And Fresno County Health Officer Dr. Race Vora is saying he does expect these hospital hospitalization numbers to continue to increase. He added that the alternate care site inside the Fresno Convention Center is still set up if numbers get to a point where it's needed. Live in downtown Fresno, Jocelyn Moran, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.